to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me. I just have not filmed in so long so I kind of just want to sit down and try on new things that I just recently bought. I figured we can do it together on camera and yeah I really want to sit down and just kind of chit chat. So I'm just moisturizing my face with the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And for primer, I am going to continue to use this because I really want to try to finish it. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And this one is the pink one. I really do like the blue one as well. But how are you guys doing? I feel like I just haven't filmed in so long and I miss filming. I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this one is the Dewy Bronze Beige Medium Tan. I usually wear this foundation in the summertime because medium tan is a little bit too um, dark for me during the winter time. But I feel like during the summer, it's too late. So... Maybe I should be wearing this in the springtime. So as you can see, it is very light. I feel like I just got so much darker these past couple of months. I'm just gonna blend it out. And don't worry, we will go ahead and add some bronzer. I kind of want to do like a all matte look even though this is a dewy foundation I can still put powder on it just to kind of mattify it a little bit I feel like ever since my last video of with me doing a get ready with me there has been a lot of highs and lows I just recently celebrated my daughter's birthday and it was a really good weekend and then shortly after that, I was just in my lows. I don't know. I feel like I just kind of had a crash because I was just so busy. And I just didn't really have time to have any time to myself, um, which is perfectly fine. But I just felt like I was just so burnt out. Right, I know I look very, very light. So I'm going to bronze out my skin. I am just using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and this one is in Tan Lines. I think this one is their matte formula. I know they have the matte and then they have the dewy. I think this one's the matte one. Lately, dab that into my cheeks. And going into the temples. Bronzer is like my favorite thing to do when I do my makeup. I just feel like it gives my face a lot of dimension because I have a really round face working on it. I just picked up this Catrice Cosmetic Magic Shaper Face Cream Palette and this one I bought on Amazon during Prime Day and I think it was only, I would say... I feel like it was under $10, but don't. Yeah, I think it was under $10. So I am very excited to use this. I heard this was like a dupe for the Makeup Forever one. So I'm gonna use this on camera and see if we like it. I do not have the Makeup Forever one, but I just wanna to try the formula. So I think I'm going to use this darker one to kind of like do a contour maybe. I just want to pick up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's really pigmented. Just going to put on the hollow of my cheeks. Right there and then... I guess just a little bit on top. We are going to blend this out. Just going back with the e.l.f. brush and just kind of push it in and then pushing it up. Then with the top, I'm just gonna 
pushing into my skin. Okay, so that blend out very, very nicely. If you guys want a closer look, it comes with two bronzers and two blushes and two highlighters. I think this is gonna be a very nice palette, but I don't know about you guys, I just feel like cream products, they dry out really, really fast. So we will definitely have to see how that works in a couple of weeks. I do I wanna put on the blush, so we are going to put that to the side for a little bit. For my eyes, I am going to be using the Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. And it looks like that's very pretty. I'm pretty sure you can still purchase this palette. Okay, so we are going for something very matte. And I'm very happy that this palette has a mirror. I'm just gonna go, I guess there's no shade names, but there's only numbers. But I'm just gonna take this very light brown and put it into my crease. I didn't even do my eyebrows yet, guys. Who am I? This is the e.l.f. Brow Laminating Gel, and this just came out. And it is like a white formula, so it's not clear, but I've used this a couple of times, and I actually really, really do like it. I've tried it before and after doing the brows. I think I prefer it before doing the brows. Alright, so these are the eyebrows back to the eyes. I am going to put that crease color in, in the crease. And again, I just kind of want everything all matte. So I'm gonna slightly blend that all over my eyes. Do the other side. But yeah, you know, lately I've been really, really grateful for everything that has been happening in my life. I am just so grateful. You know, I wake up every morning telling myself how blessed I am to have another day here with my family and my loved ones. I love my kids so much and it is like the best gift I could have ever asked for. They are the ones who hold me together. Yeah. You know what? Like practicing gratitude, I feel like it has definitely helped me be grateful for like the little things. The things that you, that people take for granted, like for example, clean water. Like not a lot of people get clean water. And I went for a walk the other day and I was so happy that I have clean water to drink because it was a really, really hot day. And I've been doing a lot of walks lately. It's just really my time to get myself back together after the hectic day of working and then coming home and then being a mom. Um, so I usually take my kids out to the park and they will ride their scooters while I walk. It's just a thing for me to spend more time with them. And um, you know, my kids are getting older now and yeah, they want to go out and do things. It's just hard when you're working a full-time job and having to come back home to be a housewife and a mother. It's like, honestly, I used to go crazy about it, but now I have found like a really good balance in between that. So um, yeah, but I've come a long way. So yeah, guys, I really want to express how important it is to practice gratitude because I am a very firm believer that anybody can be happy if they practice gratitude. And I feel like we need to just be thankful for the little things because these little things can grow into bigger things. And um, yeah, if you wanna start, start little, start small. Um, have a journal. I think having a journal will help you a lot. That's how I started. 
and at first i just did like the most generic gratitudes like i'm thankful for my family i'm thankful for my kids i'm thankful for food on the table you know a roof over my head and a running car you know those are very simple but powerful gratitudes and then lately i've just been more um intentional and more present it's crazy how working on yourself can really change who you are and um, i recommend everybody to do it i really love the kiss individual lashes that they just came out with not they didn't just come out with it but they came out out with it I don't want to say the beginning of this year. Was it the beginning of this year? I think it was at the end of last year. We are putting on lashes. These are the Kiss lashes that I was telling you that I really, really love. This is the Falscara. And this one is in Petite Volume Wispy Lashes. I do have a lot of these. I do have a lot of these, but they're just different um, styles. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera. Maybe, maybe I might be able to. Okay, so there's one. I don't know, you can tell it. Okay, so one eye done, and we're gonna do the other eye off camera. Alright guys, so lashes are done. These are my favorite lashes ever. And you can definitely get these at Ulta, Walmart, Target. Um, these are the ones that I usually gravitate towards when I want to do a full glam. Alright, so since we're done with the lashes, I am going to go back into my Catrice palette. And I really want to try on this cream blush. And I think I want to go towards the middle one. It's a really pretty berry pink. And I'm just gonna, that's a lot. Cause I grabbed a little bit too much. I'm just gonna bring it all the way up to my temples. But don't worry, we will go ahead and blend this out. It's a really pretty color and it really is blending out nicely. So that's a plus. Now I kind of want to add concealer because I just want a very bright under eye. And I've been seeing people put concealer on after they do their blush. I usually do it before. But for today, I'm going to try it after. And I'm just using a small stifling brush from Morphe. And I am just going to blend this out. And for concealer, I was just using my NARS Radiant creamy concealer and this one is in medium one custard it's really really pretty and you can easily blend this out does not dry out your eyes and yeah just blend it out very seamlessly okay, so i am going to bake a little bit i'm just using my maybelline fit me loose powder and this one is in fair light and i'm just gonna take a little bit i don't want too much i just want to get it right here right in the inner corners and right here that i do want to add a little bit more blush um because i have you know, what, what's that called? Blush blindness, whatever. But I want to add a little bit more blush. And I'm using this one from Tarte. This one is an Epic. And this is their minis that I got 
during Christmas time. And I'm just gonna use a Morphe brush again. I have a lot of Morphe brushes. I'm just gonna just put it on my temples. I just feel like I lost a little bit of cover color when I did the concealer. A fluffy brush and just let that fluff that out, but I want to um kind of work it in with my blush. All right, so now we are going to do our lips. This is the Dose of Colors lip liner, and I think this one is in Nude Mood. And I'm just gonna get a mirror. And this color is kind of like a peachy nude. Gonna outline my lips. And then for lipstick, I want to use the Jason Wu Honey Fluff in Leave Me Alone. These are so good, guys. These are at Target if you guys are interested. This is more of a satin formula. I'm just gonna put that right on the center of my. Lips, that look. I'm just gonna go back in with my lip liner and just kind of fill it in just a little bit. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Hope you guys stayed until the end. Um, I know this one was a very long chit chat get ready with me, but I really did want to sit down and just try on all my new things with you guys. I really do love the Catrice face palette that I just recently picked up from Amazon. And again, you can definitely buy it yourself. Um, I would say it's under $13, but yeah, we will see how that holds up in a couple weeks here. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.